Hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for joining me in the shop today. What are we doing today? I don't even remember. We're gonna laser some titanium kappas uh, with the robot and the Tykma laser. Thank you, air compressor, but what we gotta do first is uh, get the end effector on the robot changed over, so let's go do that. Hey, gang, here's what we're doing today. Uh, we gotta get the robot set to run uh, titanium kappas that has been running uh, metal tail caps for deltas. So we have the uh, vacuum picker upper, vacuum gripper, I guess that's what it's called, uh, set up. So we gotta change out this part. Uh, and then we also have to put in a new fixture plate and get these guys swapped out. So we're gonna do that now. an aluminum t-slot plate uh, that I actually bought somewhere I don't know on the internet <clears throat> uh, and we put it in the mill uh, and machine this grid of uh, quarter 20 holes so we can put these screws in uh, and hold down all our fixtures uh, and this particular one uh, this is just a piece of laser cut plywood uh, and then I actually 3d printed all of these little pins uh, and there's a little flange on the back so we just push these through uh, and then we just screw it down and tap is go right on there laser cut the holes on these to fit the screws extremely closely uh, so it actually registers quite accurately uh, when I remove this and take it back off and it's also sort of the magic of CNC both in terms of the laser and placing the holes accurately uh, and then actually machining the aluminum fixture plate on the mill and also having that done accurately and generally speaking it usually works Then I think it's okay. All right. All right. That's all there is to that. Uh, now I gotta fire up the robot uh, and get this, uh, let's call it an end effector, get this swapped out. So this is actually the tie-in to the laser control so the robot knows uh, when the laser has started and when it's finished. So now I'm basically just got to move the robot into place to a position where I can actually change this end effector. So I just hold down the button on the control and that unlocks the robot and lets you just move it around by hand. And then if I let go of the button, it's locked in place and you can't move it anymore. But if you push the button, then you can just move it wherever you want. This might seem like the slow way to do it, but I think this is my third iteration. I'm trying to load these things accurately and efficiently. And so far, this is the best one. Unfortunately, I do need these to have a specific orientation so the robot can actually pick them up correctly. Um, I wish it was easier, but this isn't too bad. All right. 
We're getting closer. All right, so we are set up and ready to go. However, despite the fact I've got the machine pinned and the robot is pretty accurate and all that stuff, uh, it is never exactly in the right place uh, on the first part. The laser mark isn't always in the right place. So basically I've got to run a couple uh, and verify that we've got the mark in the correct location, adjust if needed, uh, and then we should be off to the races. So Mr. Universal Robot here can do work while I go do other stuff.